For you, and for you, I've got three numbers. 9.8, 70, and 80. Let me explain. The United Nations calculated that by 2050, this planet will be inhabited with more than 9.8 billion people. 70% of those people will be living in large urban areas, bringing huge distribution challenges along. But more scary, in 2012, 80% of the land suitable for agriculture was already in use. If we look at our lives today, we can get whatever we want, whenever we want it. We can buy sweet strawberries year-round, beautiful tropical plants to decorate our living rooms, or medicine which have been made using plant material. But what we don't think of is the long distance those plants have traveled. They've often crossed multiple continents by boat or by plane. Sometimes the transport needs to be refrigerated. And all of this comes at a cost. The cost of losses during transport, the impact on the environment, and the impact on plant quality. If you look ahead towards the future, all 9.8 billion of us living here in large cities, where will we find space to grow these plants? How will we distribute everything? And how will we feed all those future mouths? This actually made me ask, why? Why aren't we trying to find solutions for this? Why aren't we optimizing this? Why aren't we growing our plants more local? Ah, yes, because we cannot, or climate isn't suited for that particular plant, or we don't have enough arable land but just deserts and snow. But if we really think it through, we can use technology to make this happen. Imagine being able to grow any plant independent of the climate. Imagine being able to do this using 95% less fresh water and no pesticides nor herbicides. Imagine not needing to ship all these plants around the globe anymore. Well, I am here today to tell you we can. At Urban Crop Solutions, we've developed a modular system which replicates any climate and allows us to grow any plant. And we've engineered the system based on a plant's needs. And we've developed and combined several technologies to make this happen. Imagine crisp, white warehouses and plants being grown using LED light. LED lights because they're more efficient than traditional lighting. They consume less energy, energy which can even be obtained from renewable sources. LED lights are also cooler than traditional lights, allowing us to place light closer to the plant and creating the opportunity to grow in multiple layers above each other, bringing farming from a 2D to a 3D model, and creating the opportunity to transform any building, room or basement into a plant production hub. LEDs allow us also to control the spectrum and their intensity, and to steer the way a plant looks, its flavor, its vitamins or minerals, or its active compounds, and don't get me wrong, this is not genetic manipulation. This is actually creating an optimal plant environment, an environment for the plant to thrive, like it's a sunny day without a cloud in the sky. Of course, when you look at nature, a plant needs light to grow, but also water and nutrients, which it absorbs from the soil. Soil, which also contains other organisms, 
forcing farmers to use pesticides and herbicides if they want to guarantee their yields. Well, we've removed soil from the equation. Instead, we grow our plants in water, and we add the nutrients it needs to this water, and we circulate it constantly, so the plant has its optimal levels. As it grows, it absorbs these nutrients and water and evaporates it. This evaporated water we capture from the air and we insert back into the irrigation system, reducing the need for fresh water to a mere 5% in comparison to traditional agriculture. Besides water and light, a lot of other parameters need to be controlled as well. Temperature, humidity, CO2, airflow, and so on. And during the last several years, our team of biologists have been investigating these parameters for a wide range of plants. And what they noticed is a plant has specific needs at specific moments of its growth. All these needs and these parameters can actually be placed inside an algorithm. An algorithm which allows anyone to grow any plant by the touch of a button. We're actually translating the knowledge which is right now in farmers' minds to a smart software solution. And these algorithms also allow us to predict yields and to grow just in time. Imagine pharmaceutical companies being able to adjust the growth speed of their plants when an epidemic is rising. The potential here is big, and the impact can be even bigger if all parameters stay controlled. This means also all the risks should be managed. And the biggest risks these systems face are actually external influences. Imagine you just ate that sweet strawberry. Perhaps it contains a bacteria. You touch one of these plants, and the bacteria can spread very quickly, making us lose our harvest of today, tomorrow, next week, and perhaps the, weeks after, the week after that. And to manage this risk cost-effectively, we actually close these rooms, we overpressurize them, and we make sure as little people as possible can interfere with the plant's environment by introducing robotics. In February 2016, Urban Crop Solutions opened its first automated vertical farm, proving the economic profitability of these systems. And as you can see, it are lifts that move the trays around the system, and each tray here is also provided with an RFID tag, allowing us to track and trace the plants from seed to harvest, offering full transparency. These technological platforms allow us not only to get whatever we want, whenever we want, but from now on, also wherever we want. Whether it's here in Antwerp, in Mumbai, or in Moscow, and whether it's in large automated plant factories, or small local growing containers. Let's all of us optimize supply chains. Let's minimize the impact of transport and let's maximize plant quality. The technology is here. And now it's up to you. Thank you.